Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over how to add those custom PIDs onto Torque Pro to monitor your Prius battery system. I got a couple questions on how I actually added those PIDs and I'll be showing you that today. So first, first things first, open up the Torque Pro app. It's gonna open up to here. You're gonna go to this gear at the bottom the settings setting then you're gonna go to manage extra PIDs and sensors and from here you hit the top three little dots and it's gonna ask what do you want to do add from a predefined set and you can put Ford uh, like uh, I have done on my uh, Ford videos for my six liter power stroke but here we're gonna be for the Prius so they have the Prius second gen and the Prius third gen. Add whichever one you have. I have a second gen, so you tap that. Then it's going to ask. Um, I already have them loaded, so it's going to ask. It's uh, going to ask me, do you want to override the existing PIDs? Um, I already have it, so I'm going to go keep. But it's going to ask you a little message to uh, to add it. You just confirm that, and then from here you go back, back. You go to real time information. and hold anywhere on the screen add display I like the half dial needle setup so once you hit that it's gonna assort it by numerical alphabetical order and you see that the uh, it goes with that little bracket and then the the brand so bracket forward uh, we're looking for bracket Prius which will be below this so right here we got bracket Prius and you can add whatever you want uh, let's see oh, that's one handy thing the uh, the Prius Delta state of charge that's this change of the state of charge between your um, your battery modules battery air intake temp it's good to know and what I found most handy are, are these PIDs right here, the, the high voltage battery block number one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. And what you wanna do is you just wanna, let's just say hybrid block one voltage, hit that. Choose your icon you want for my voltages. I usually use tiny because I need to fit um, 14 of them in. So tiny, and then that's how big the, uh, the display is on your screen so you can see how small that is you can easily fit 15 of these guys in there but I already have all of these added so I'm going to delete this and uh, this is kind of what my screen looks like so I have all 14 block voltages so I can monitor the voltage of each individual block and uh, that's how I actually found the low voltages for the low battery modules in my previous video on how to tell if your, pre, uh, if your Prius battery is going bad uh, some other handy gauges to have is your high voltage battery charge measures in kilowatts your high voltage fan speed that is the uh, this vent right here that's your hybrid high voltage battery air intake vent and it uh, it's driven by a fan so you can see how fast your fan is spinning um, auxiliary battery voltage it's always good to know how many volts your auxiliary 12 volt system has Mine has a nice strong 14 volts. And then the delta state of charge, uh, like I said, it's just the difference in the charge between each of these blocks of batteries. Uh, you want it to be as low as possible, mine's zero right now. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, there are probably other important or handy little PIDs you can load, but uh, this is kind of what I have here and it's uh, given me some pretty good diagnostics information. Uh, you also have the, the preloaded PIDs right here. Um, I really only check the coolant temperature. My Prius stays at about 185 degrees, give or take five or 10 degrees. Uh, so that's always good to monitor because we don't have a temperature gauge in these Priuses. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really about it. It's not too complicated. I believe you do have to have Torque Pro. I don't think Torque Lite can load these custom PIDs like this. Uh, so go ahead and get Torque Pro. 
And yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. So I hope this video clarifies on how to actually get those displays added onto your Torque Pro app. I had a couple guys uh, ask me on my how to diagnose your Prius battery video, how I actually got those loaded on. I hope this clarifies it. Um, there's not much to it, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try my best to help out. But uh, really all I did was downloaded the latest version from the App Store and, uh, and then just proceeded on and uh, did, did what I did to get those loaded on. So there's not much to it. Um, but yeah, if you, have any, if you have any issues or any uh, questions, feel free to ask. Um, as always, thanks for watching this video. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Share this video and this channel to your friends. Um, stay tuned for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching.